Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Khalid Hussain and I'm working as an electrical engineer in ETS on group of companies. My question is, does Islam permit media? Because during the time of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there was no any means of mass communication as mentioned by you. So could you please justify by quoting any of the surahs or any sahih hadith? Thank you. The brother has posed the question that at the time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there was no mass media. So does Islam permit media? Can you quote a Quranic verse or hadith? Brother, point to be noted. As far as ibadah is concerned, what is mentioned is further. This is the law of the Sharia. In other things, in the mamlat, in day-to-day -day life, what is mentioned as haram is haram, everything else is halal. For example, pork is haram, haram, alcohol is haram. What is not mentioned is halal. I am asking you a question. Is there any hadith or Quranic verse which says that you can have mango? Is there any hadith? So will you say mango is haram? So in terms of worship, what is mentioned is fard. Only do that, nothing else. In terms of how to lead a life, what is mentioned, haram is haram, everything is halal. So tomorrow will ask me, brother Zakir, why are you eating mango? And I love mango. Huh? Because I come from India. And I'm proud of my country and I'm proud of the mango of my country. <laughs> so first of all, you should give me contrary a proof, a hadith or a Quranic verse saying media is haram. Yet, yet, yet brother, I will give you proof. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, what he did? He dictated letters to non-Muslim kings, to the kings of Abyssinia, king of Yemen, of Persia. Asking them, quoting the verse of the Quran of Surah Imran, chapter 3, verse number 64, Kul yahil al-kitab, say, O people of the book, ta'ala ila kalmatin sawa in bayna baynakum. Come to common terms as in us and you. Which is the first term? Allah na'buda illa Allah. Wa anushrika bihi shayyon. That we associate our partners with him. Wala yat takhizabad, dunabad, dan arbaban mindin illa. That we erect not among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah. Fain tawallah. If then they turn back. Fakul shadu. See, he bear witness. We are Muslim that we are Muslim bowing away to Allah. He dictated letters and he sent them on horses. Today's little Mercedes car. Or what do I want to call? Jet planes. In different directions. Asking them to accept Islam. That was media that time. Imagine dictating letters. After dictating, arranging horsemen to go in different directions. He utilized the media to the best of his ability what he had. Wallah, today if Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was alive, I feel he would have used the media to the best of his ability. But within the purview of the Islamic Sharia, not utilizing anything which is haram. Haram things should not be used, but what is halal? Like a knife can be used for good purpose and bad purpose. So knife per se is not haram. So media per se is not haram, though majority of the things on the media are haram. What we have to do is use it in a halal way. Turn the tables over. Within the purview of the Islamic Sharia, utilized in the halal way, so at least we can testify to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that inshallah we tried our little bit what we could to convey the message because our job is to convey the message. Allah says, Our job is to deliver the message. Giving hidayah is in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hope that answers the question.